بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. <laughs> It is another day of Ramadan and hopefully everybody is doing good deeds, doing dhikr, reading Quran and fasting. Alhamdulillah, I am fasting today. Let's go on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day is to pray in the masjid. I, I love masjid. Really? <laughs> Oh, she loves masjid and so do I. Samiha, after iftar, we're going to pray in the masjid. Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Prayer in congregation is superior to prayer alone by 27 degrees. Prayer in congregation means when you pray together, when you pray with a group of people, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Now that we've finished our good deed of the day, let's move on to Hadith. <laughs> An Abi Qatada radiallahu anhu qal, qal an nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-ru'ya salihatu min allahi wa hulmu min al-shaytan. Fa'idha halama ahadukum hulman, يَخَافُهُ فَلْيَبْسُقْ أَنْ يَسَارِهِ وَلْيَتَعَوَّذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ شَرِّهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَذُرُّهُ It is reported on the authority of Abu Qatada radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a good dream is from Allah and a bad dream is from shaitan. So if any of you has a bad dream which makes him afraid he should spit on his left side and he should seek refuge with Allah from its evil for then it will not harm him. By the way, if you're going to spit on your left side, do not actually spit on your left side, especially when there's a person next to you. Instead, you should make a spitting sound. And which is your left side? Here, well done! Now let's go on to the lessons of this hadith. Number one, our good dreams are from Allah. Allah. Number two, our bad dreams are from Shaitan. Number three, we should seek protection with Allah from the evil of shaitan, okay? Yeah. yeah. And number four, whoever seeks protection with Allah will be safe from shaitan. Now, let's move on to the discussion corner. Number one, where do good dreams come from? Allah. Yeah. As Sumi has said, good dreams come from Allah. Number two, what should we do if we wake up at night feeling scared after a bad dream? Um, spit. Yeah, on? On? Your left side. Your okay? left side. Yes. Yeah, make a spitting sound on your left side, okay? Yeah. And we should also seek our last protection by seeking a refuge from its evil. Number three. What should we say to seek Allah's protection? Um, protection. What should we say to seek Allah's protection? Um, we should say... We should say Bismillah. You can say that, but you should say A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Okay? Mm, bismillah wa barakatullah. <laughs> no, that's the eating du'a. <laughs> now that we've finished the hadith, let's move on to... Surah. Yeah! Remember yesterday when I taught you Surah Al-Falaq? Do you remember that? Now can you say it all by yourself? Yes, I can. Oh, you seem very, very confident. Now can you say it? Yeah. A'udhu billahi minash A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul a'udhu barabbil falaqa 
من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاصق زاوق ومن ومن شر نفسات فلقة ومن شر حسيت نزاع حسد. Well done, ما شاء الله. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> If you teach your brother or sister at home, maybe in one day they can, ما شاء الله. إنشاء الله they will. They can say even, the whole surah. Even your baby brother and your baby sister. Yeah, if you have a baby brother or baby sister, you can teach them as well. It will benefit them when they're older as well. Yeah. Now see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Ikhra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, khalaq al-in.